Hey guys, so we wanted to do just a little walkthrough of this one um, because we haven't done this one before, um, this model, and so it's probably a little less known, especially to like our followers. Um, and it is a Jayco Seismic. And the model is the 4250. she said that it was um, 45 feet long so anyways we wanted to do just a little tour for you guys because actually so one of the things that um, we had always been back and forth with was um, you know trying to get a possibly a toy hauler because of you know our uh he has some motorcycles and we have to have them in storage right now instead of carrying them with us so i'm sorry if you hear the um saw he's right outside the wall here but so it's got a pretty decent shower and i mean i love the bathroom like this is a front bathroom model and it's got the double sinks which i absolutely love that i just love a large bathroom not that you spend a lot of time in here but it's just so nice when you take showers and things like that. I think that um, this is a walk-in closet that I'm sure is probably locked somewhere. And I'm not exactly sure where the lock is. And then, of course, they have their washer and dryer in here. I don't know why I'm getting that little... Hmm. Anyways. So, the washer and dryer in there. And then you've got... Um, the cabinet here, the big mirror, and the cabinet here. So that's pretty cool. And then in the bedroom, we've got a pretty decent little drawers, um, chest of drawers, but also um, the uh, TV as the televating thing. Um, and this is actually a pretty decent size window. Like it's it's pretty big. I actually really like the light that it brings in. And it's pretty cool. You can actually see our rooftop over there. Super cool. So anyway, and then um, you have the bed, which is a decent size to bed. And then you have a real door, which I, I love that there's a door there to the, to the bedroom. Um, you step down into the living room, living space. And, um, all of this stuff came out of the basement, so, um, this is not what it normally looks like, but, um, just so that you can get, you guys can get the, uh, the gist of it. You've got your, your electrical panel and your electrical, um, or your breaker box. Um, he installed the Progressive Industries here, and he up, did the 712 up here. So it's more at eye level actually it's up here and then they have the everything else right there they did have a santrex um that means they have a yep they have a residential fridge so he keeps that inverter intact so he's going to keep the xantrex panel on there as well okay but i love this um this large couch area i love a big living space so i just I'm a, I'm a huge fan of this. And then of course here you have your, your fireplace, um, and your televating TV, um, some cabinets. So I really like that. I like the stonework that Jayco uses for the, um, the island. And I absolutely love these countertops. This is, this is really nice. And then of course you've got large cabinets on either side of the couch and then pretty decent storage here in the in the kitchen as well so that's pretty nice and then of course there's um a pantry here and then you go into it's a pretty large doorway into the oh i'm sorry you have your loft up there as well so there's your stairs for the loft so you have your loft and your stairs um and then a pretty big opening here to go into the toy hauler they actually have or i'm not big on knowing what birds are so they have birds that they have and so they are going to they keep them back here when they travel um i like i don't know if this was i feel like 
I'm not sure if this was an addition or if they added this or you know what, but I really like this cabinet space too though. And then of course they have the half bath in here. And I just love the idea of a half bath because it never fails that Mike and I have to go to the bathroom at the same time. <laughs> and of course it has the happy jack system and the third AC. So, and then of course there's the TV behind my head up here. So that's cool. And of course these come down, you know, for your, for your dinette as well down here, if you wanted to use it for that purpose, it looks like they have the three season doors as well. And then they, of course they have the, the patio set up as well. So that, you know, this will come out and, um, make a, uh, you know, little porch patio on their back. Um, here's the rest of it back deck, um, or back ramp. And they have, um, I believe they have two dogs and two cats as well or one cat. I'm not exactly sure what the amount, but I know they have lots of animals, so they will have lots and lots of space here, so that's awesome for them. So, um, they don't actually have any toys. They just have lots of animals, so, but that's pretty cool. So, I just really, um, I thought that you guys might want to see, um, you know, what the, what the layout of this one is. I am a huge fan of the seismic. I, have wanted a 4113 seismic for quite some time and now that Mike has actually seen the build of Jayco and how well everything is maintained underneath um, he's actually pretty impressed and he I think would actually buy a Jayco and um, for that purpose and so and they um, I just saw their website too I don't know much about this we'll have to look more into it but they did say that they have a um, full-time RV or warranty or something that they do. So, um, you know, I don't know what that's about, but that's something worth checking into if you want to go full-time, I think. So, um, anyway, just wanted to show you guys this layout. Um, I, I would definitely go with this layout if I couldn't get the 4113. Um, you know, I actually, I really like it. I do. I really, really like it. So, um, the only thing that I am not a fan of, and I'm wondering how much this slide comes in. So you might be able to actually walk through here. I'm not sure. I'll have to ask Joyce and Kim, but, um, I always want to be able to get to my refrigerator. So like if we have the slides in, so that's always a thing. Um, you know, obviously we don't have to worry about that with the Airstream, but when, uh, with our fifth wheel. So anyway, uh, Hope you guys enjoyed the tour and if you want to see more of this like let us know that as well i um i'm pretty impressed and you know it's a really good build and um this was a used one this is a 2018 so they got a really good deal on it and that's what she was looking for and so i uh but i really like it Just going to catch you guys up here. So over on this wall, I've been busy. So, so far, this is where the Multi Plus is going to sit. Uh, I'm going to leave, this is going to be covered by the way, it's not going to be open. But, I am going to have windows here, and here, and there, and there, and over there to showcase the wiring and give it kind of an industrial look um, and then uh, it's all going to be backlit and what else are we doing mm, oh yeah there was no space to put the batteries whenever I decided to do it this way so I decided to do that there's just enough space in between the front bay and the um, uh, this area that it lines right up with the wall uh, I'm gonna backlight everything and you know make it all pretty put my little flare on it so I, I was <laughs> so I was 
painting all this because I don't really have room for carpet. Everything is so tight. So I decided to go with some black, flat black spray paint. So I painted this and I painted everywhere that, that was going to be exposed. Like, like this board, like halfway over here is uh, not painted at all because I knew that it would be beside the battery. It doesn't need to be painted. And these are um, cut out in big U shape so that if like they're in there the the um what do you call those things where the nylon straps go the holders or whatever um those are uh this goes around those so that it's not coming out even without anything on the front or anything like that or the wiring or whatever there it is not coming out to get this battery out i have to take all three batteries off the top unstrap this thing uh it's mounted into the wall behind it into studs and uh, so in other words, it's a PETA to get any of the batteries out, which is fine. That's how it's supposed to be. They're not supposed to be moving around and stuff like that. However, I tried to be super thoughtful, think ahead and, you know, paint all of this. Where's my finger? There it is. Paint all this and this and all of this stuff and, you know, multiple coats, yada, yada, yada. But then I forgot to paint that in the back so after a short little discussion with my better half I'm gonna take it all apart and then I'm gonna paint the wall behind it and then I'm gonna put it all back together so I guess I'll do that now oh but I've been up on the roof and this one's getting uh, 2600 watts of solar uh, two MPPT 150 slash 100s, uh, 3000 single 3000 watt uh, multi plus, um, 712, which is already in place inside. I'll show you guys that later. And I think that's it. I think that's all we're putting in this one. So um, we're about two thirds of the way through it. I'm um, going to do a lot of the wiring today, get it all. Uh, connected and switched up and AC ins and outs and automation relay and all that good stuff tie leg one and two together and then we will uh, probably call it a day so let's uh, let's see how much we can get done today